Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So I've seen this product knocking around on AliExpress and Banggood for a while now and thought it would make a good contestant to feature in a video. Now this radio comes with a mains power supply, also a pretty good quality speaker microphone is also included. Funny enough, it's actually labelled as Beofang. Also included is a little bag which contains a short BNC terminated patch cable a BNC to SO239 adapter and an Allen key. And what you'll notice about this USDX radio is that it's kind of chunky, and that's because it has a built-in ATU. The three buttons down the left side are for controlling the ATU. Now putting the ATU into auto mode is probably the most easiest as it will tune automatically when needed. The radio mode and menu buttons are found on the right just above the VFO knob. Now the VFO knob has probably the best quality encoder that I've felt on one of these USDX radios. It also acts as a push button for other menu functions or changing bands. Now you'll notice two LCD screens. The lower is for the actual USDX radio and the top LCD is for the tuner which shows information such as SWR and forward and reflected power. Now there's no internal speaker or internal battery in this particular model, so the audio will come from the speaker mic that's included. Also, if you want to use this portable, then of course you'll need to take some form of power, like a battery with you. On the rear, we see a couple of extra BNC sockets which are used for the inbuilt tuner. Now this is where the included BNC patch cable comes into use. You can just use the USDX part of the transceiver without the tuner if you don't need it. Also on the back we have a few 3.5mm sockets covering CAT control, headphone output, speaker mic socket and another mic PTT which appears to be used for a CW key. Now to use the internal ATU simply connect the patch cable to the TRX out port and then connect the other end to the ATU in. Then of course you just connect your antenna to the RF out port. So let's hook up some power and take a look at the menu. Now as suspected, the USDX menu is the same that we've seen in the past and using the menu button and the VFO encoder to navigate through the menu and change the settings. Now with my NFED half-wave connected, let's take a listen around the bands to see how this version of the USDX sounds. Alpha, Alpha will QSY to CW. 
Roger, roger. I was just on my way to move here. Uh, Mike Zero, Sugar Golf Lima. Thank you. 59, number 722. Around the place. Uh, send me through to you and we'll take a couple more before we go to RT. <laughs> Golf uh, Bravo Zero, Bravo Alpha Lima. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey QRP. Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey QRP. Now receiving appears to work, but there's that little whooshing sound at the start of some of the transmissions. Now I think this can slightly be rectified by adjusting the attenuator, noise reduction, and even some of the AGC settings. It's almost as if the AGC was far too slow to react to the strong stations on 40 meters, but I did manage to improve it slightly. Now I did try calling a couple of stations, but I just wasn't strong enough to get through. However, I did record my audio on a nearby SDR receiver, and this is what it sounds like. This is M0 DTW testing, M0 DTW testing audio. M0 DTW testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. M0 DTW testing audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, one of the problems with the USDX radios is that they're just not plug and play. And I'm sure with some careful adjustment to the TX drive bias and noise gate settings, I probably could have made this sound better. In fact, there are some procedures on the internet that you can follow to set these up to the best of their potential. So I never had a chance to set up the cat control with this particular radio, but I believe you can connect them up to a computer and then use some digital mode software. Although I'm not entirely sure how many people have actually got that working. So if you're looking for a cheap HF radio that has an inbuilt ATU, then this is probably a good starter. However, I would definitely recommend to do your research and watch as many videos as you can on the USDX radio, as its features, sound and quality is not going to be as polished as buying a radio 20 times its cost. If you're interested in getting one of these, I'll leave a link down below where I actually got mine from but of course you can buy it from wherever you want if you want to try it. Anyway guys, if you got one of these, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.